Hi, this is John, and I'm going to teach you an easy approach to converting hexadecimal. Now, before we get into the conversion process, I just want to go over some of the basics. What is hexadecimal? Well, it's a number system with a base of 16. What does this mean? Well, the decimal number system, the one that we're used to, has a base of 10, meaning it has 10 numbers, 0 through 9. The hex number system has 16, 0 through 9, and A through F. Who uses this? Well, it's widely used in computer engineering, information sciences, programming, and things like that. Now, one important aspect about hexadecimal is the nibble. Why is it important? Well, one hexadecimal digit is equal to one nibble. And a nibble is half an octet, or a byte, and equals four bits. The way the hexadecimal number system breaks down, you have 0 through 9, and it's just like in the decimal system, but then you have A through F. And A through F equals specific values. A equals 10, B11, C12, D13, E14, and F15. You should commit these to memory. Let's look at some examples of hexadecimal numbers. Here we have hex numbers and their decimal counterparts. 5A in hex is equal to 90 in decimal. 7C in hex is equal to 124 in decimal. Now let's look at the conversion process. What we're going to do is take a hexadecimal number and convert it into a binary number. And from a binary number, we're going to take that and convert it into decimal. Let's look at an example. The first thing we're going to want to do is convert the hex to binary. Here we have 5F in hexadecimal. Now what we're going to do, as you remember from earlier, the nibble, we're going to take it and make little nibble tables for each hexadecimal character. So here we have 5, we're going to plug that into here, okay? We plug it in here with zeros and ones. So 4 plus 1 equals 5, so we're going to put a 1 here and a 1 here. And we're going to fill the rest in with zeros. Now what we're doing is converting hex to binary, and it's literally this easy. F, as you remember, equals 15. Well, 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15, so these get all ones. Now you take those two values and you smash them together. And then you can convert your binary to decimal. Now what we do to convert binary to decimal, or what I do, if you've watched my previous video, you draw out a, a conversion table, starting from the right and working left. One, two, four, eight, and so on. For each digit, each binary digit, you're going to want to have one column of numbers, okay? And you just plug it in, starting from the right and working left. One, 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 zero, one, zero. And what you do is add up the ones. 64 plus 16 is 80, 88, 92, 94, 95. So what we did is convert the hexadecimal number 5F into 95 in decimal. Pretty easy, right? Let's do a harder example. Here we're going to convert 1A5F. So we have four hexadecimal digits, so we're going to want four nibble tables. So we draw out our four nibble tables and we just plug in the values. Well, 1 is 1. You can fill the rest in with zeros here. A, as you remember, is 10, so that's going to be a 1 here and a 1 here. 8 plus 2. Fill the rest in with zeros. 5, 4 plus 1 equals 5, fill the rest in with zeros, and then F, as you remember, is 15, and that's all ones. And then we just combine them together. Notice how I left off the leading zeros here, and that's fine. We don't need that for the conversion, but depending on your application, you may need it. So next up, we're going to want to convert that binary number to decimal. And remember what we do for each binary digit, we draw out a binary to decimal conversion table. So here we have 13 binary digits, and we're going to start from the, the right and work left, doubling each number until we have 13. So we'll just plug it in. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, one 0, 1, bear with me, 0, 0, 
one, zero, one, one. And then what do you do? You just add up the ones. So 4,096 plus 2,048 and so on. I'm not going to go through that whole process. But once you add them up, you're going to get 6,751. Well, thanks for watching, and if my video was even a little bit helpful, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, or leave me a comment, or come visit me at johndavidgrow.com.